Hey, this is Pastor Jack, and it is Thanksgiving Day, and you're either stuffed, you're getting ready to sit down, or you're taking a nap. Let's talk about the things we have to be thankful for. You know, what a great day to celebrate and to be thankful. But you know, we really celebrate and thank God for stuff all 365 days. But you know, uh, David wrote in the Psalms, uh, Psalms 103, and I marvel at, this was done in David's later life, and he's coming to the end of his life. And you know, David was, he had some ups and downs. I mean, here's a man that as a young teenager, defeated the enemies of the Philistines and he took the head off of Goliath and it went out that uh, Saul killed his thousand but David killed his ten thousand. Man, he was the king of the kings of uh, that day and time. But then later on we know his downfall was that when he should have been at war, he was idling around and saw Bathsheba, got involved with her. She uh, was with child. And when he found it out, then he conspired to kill her husband, Uriah. So this is the David that wrote most all of the Psalms. I mean, he, he could have said, God, look who I am. But then he had that downfall in his life. But now in the 103rd Psalms, we have this same David that understood the love of God, and he was a very thankful man. I just want to read you out of the Message Bible, Psalms 103, verses 1 through 5. David says this, This man that killed the giant, but yet fell so far that he committed a, a sexual sin and then had a man killed. O oh, my soul, bless God. From my head to my toe, I'm going to bless his holy name. O oh, my soul, bless God. And don't leave out a single blessing. This is coming from David. These are the five things that David talks about that we should bless the Lord for. Number one, he forgives us of our sins. David knew that his sins were forgiven. He said, he forgives all of your sins, every single one of them. And then he says, he heals your diseases. He heals all of your diseases, and it says every single one. Then it says he crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown that he gives to every person. He wraps you in goodness or in protection that you might have beauty eternal. And then it says he renews your youth You are always young in the eyes of God. This is David saying, thank you, Lord. So bless the Lord. Just bless the Lord. David knew that he was forgiven, that he was healed. He would have been redeemed. You know, when you know that you've been redeemed, that means you've been taken from one place and put in a better place. So David had a lot to be thankful for. I've listed down a lot of the things that I'm thankful for this season. I'm thankful for the presence of God. I'm thankful for for you, the family of God. We just should always give thanks, and we should always thank God for all of our blessings that we have. Amen. I pray you have a great day today with friends or family, and just just taking a a time to say thank you, Lord, uh, for all that you have done, all that you are doing, and all that you desire to do to those that loved you. And so God bless you. You have a great uh, Thanksgiving. Eat some good turkey and throw a little ham in there and it'll be a blessed day. God bless.
This woman for 12 years, she probably had not even left her house. But because she heard about Jesus, she said enough is enough. And then her confession changed, which always happens after you have a foom, a fed up moment. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. She cannot make that statement until she got to the place, I'm fed up.